I need him to stay where he is. He has a deep wound on his neck, but I can't see a single drop of blood. Pretty scary. This means even more paperwork. Isn't this ironic? The whole time I was chasing the journalist, I didn't have the slightest idea I was pursuing the next victim. I should have found that poor man earlier. Blasted journalist. It's not drinkable, but it'll be useful anyway. Mixing it is as easy as a child's game. I should hurry up, otherwise it'll harden. I have to wait a few minutes. Wait a few minutes. There's nothing I can do until I find the matching shoe. There's nothing I can do. The two imprints are from different shoes. Do you still wish to tell me something? Yes. You saw something that night, am I correct? Uh, no, but I heard something. There was a fight. Someone was screaming. Do you know who it was? Your grave digger? I do not know, really. I have been trying to forget. I was mad with fear. I closed the door and blocked my ears. I prayed out loud to deafen the rampage outside. Is this all you wanted to tell me? No. Earlier on, at the funeral, I saw something. I 
perhaps it is not important, but Dr. Stewart surely argued with Lady Miriam. He strongly demanded something, but she obviously refused. Do you know what the subject of the argument was? Did you overhear any words? I had the impression he wanted to look into the coffin, but the lady refused. Yes, it might have been so, but now that I know that Sir William... It must have been so. So you think he wanted to make sure that Sir William is truly dead? Yes, it makes sense. That explains why Dr. Stewart did not come home after the funeral. He stayed somewhere near the cemetery and waited until everybody left. His conscience troubled him, and he obviously paid for it. He told me everything he... I'll come back. I should give it back. I'm not going to crawl through the filth, but Carter, surely. I need him to stay where he... No, I'm sure it wasn't his shoes which left the imprint in front of the church. No, I'm sure it will. Tell Lady Miriam that Mr. Stewart's body was found. I think she'll be familiar with the name. Oh my goodness, isn't it over yet? Far from it. I'll tell her right away. If this doesn't get that old lady to pick up the phone, then nothing will. Milady will call you in a minute. Your news upset her very much. I do apologize. Yes, madam, I'm listening very carefully. I don't want to violate your privacy, madam, but you surely understand that the circumstances under which your grandson's body disappeared are very serious. Exactly. Mr. Stewart, your family doctor, is dead. When was the last time you saw him? And did you talk to him? I have a witness to your argument. Did he ask you for another examination of Sir William's body? 
It wasn't nonsense, as you think, Lady Lewis. I found evidence that Sir William, your grandson, still lived. Actually, he was buried alive. I'm terribly sorry to have to tell you that. Madam? Lady Lewis? Are you all right? Miss, hurry to your lady. Take her a glass of water or something stronger. Oh my goodness, Lady Miriam! Lady Lewis? Thank God. Are you all right? I sent the maid to you. I'm terribly sorry. But all the evidence seems to make clear what happened that night. When your grandson was buried, I can't explain why your doctor first claimed Sir William was dead. And then it seems changed his mind. But it's a fact that your grandson was not dead. I'll spare you all the details, dear lady, but please consider my advice. I'd like one of my best guards to stay here. He will protect you and intervene if necessary. I understand you don't wish it, but there is a chance Sir William is alive and that he will come back home. No, of course I'm not going to hunt him. He suffered from a terrible shock and he'll need medical assistance. But at the same time, I can't rule out the possibility he'll be aggressive. Two people died, madam. All right. This is your decision, and I'm inclined to respect it. But I have to warn you. If Sir William returns home, immediately inform the police. Good day. Her reaction was convincing. Pity I had to tell it to her in such a way. But I needed to make sure she has nothing to do with the case. She has nothing to do with the case. I'm sorry I caused her so much trouble. I'm crossing her off the list. Probably a false lead. Considering the direction the maid, did she mention Sir William's workroom? Not without a good reason and a proper warrant. I'll come back when I should give. He told me every. I need him to stay. He has a deep room. Maybe I could visit the print worker, see if he has changed his mind. He's had enough time for that. A detective. Do you have a minute? You just won't believe this. The printer wants to talk to you. Did he say why? No, but he seems willing to confess. 
I'll see him right away, thank you. Did you want to talk to me? Yes. I want to tell you everything I know. Really? What changed your mind? You can judge us, but we're just keeping the public informed of events. We ain't no murderers. Go on. Back then, Nate really was at the cemetery before you. Someone had sent him a message early that morning. Probably one of his informants. He has them all over the place. Let's say that is so. When I appeared, he had to act as if he were taking photographs, so I wouldn't suspect how the photographs made it into the papers. Exactly. Who is his informant? I have to check this. You ask him. Just before the patrol came, he got another message. What a coincidence, right? Where did he go then? Wilson Street. Some tailor's shop or something. For goodness sake, you nitwit. What kind of game are you playing? I was there today and spoke to the tailor. He was all right. If you say so. I'm just telling you what Nate told me. The tailor's shop on the corner of Wilson Street. You do with it whatever you please. Why would the journalist be interested in the tailor? What's going on here? <laughs> he was a promising candidate, but also a leech, living off other people's misfortune. I'm crossing him off the list. Probably a false lead. The journalist got a tip-off about the tailor's workshop. I have to follow him, quickly. Still locked. Did the tailor say anything about... The master key should be somewhere here, if the tailor didn't lie. He didn't. Here it is. I mustn't forget to put it back. I don't know what to expect. Another victim? Or the journalist laughing at me? I'll find it out immediately. I just have to be careful. I didn't get it at first, but now I know that something's going on outside. Why else would they put two people into a cell with only one bed? I think I know what's coming next. A close questioning, quick trial and a speedy ride to the clink. When the detective came, I thought he came because of me, but I was wrong. He squeezed the poor wretch so much that he almost shit his pants. I bet he's never been in prison before. 
Maybe I could get some information from him too. I'd really like to know what's going on here. My arse hurts after the long hours of sitting. Anything would be better than this endless waiting. 